Morning everybody, I'm the Yorkshire Fossil Hunter. I've come to Sands End today. I got up really early, it was about, about half four, five o'clock. Uh, I think I'm the first one here. Been a few people collecting recently and had some good fans. So hopefully we'll get some good. I'll see you down there. I've still got a little bit further to go as you can see. Tide's on its way out, should be a good day. Okay, first find of the day. It looks a bit squashed maybe, but there is an ammonite in there. Pyritic. Uh, but I'll take that for the first find. Now I think, I think it's a Elegantisaurus. It's a bit worn on the outside, but that should prep. There might be another one or two in there as well. So, so far, so good. Only been here about half hour. A couple of Elegantisaurus is always nice. It's just started absolutely peeing it down. So, I, uh, I put my waterproofs on. Finally bought some. Just spotted a nice looking duck. Can you see it? Yeah, very nice. I've just got into this nodule. You see, perfect cannonball size. And then it's revealed a nice duck. I'm thinking it'll be. The rest will be under there. It looks like it's going sort of backwards. And again, there's another nice nodule here. It's a bit flat, but we'll give it a net. I'm having to film on my phone today because my, my GoPro decided to not charge up last night. So I don't know what it'll come out like. I've never done it on my phone before. I'm assuming it'll be pretty similar. Onwards and upwards. Just found this big fragment. Don't look like much, but it's full of calcite. So if my mate Chris will cut and polish that, that'll look amazing. And then a few more nice finds I've just got. I've got a lovely Dactyloceros. I mean, the ribbing on that's absolutely perfect. So that'll go in my bag. I've got these all came within the same area of each other. Another nice dac. I mean there's some cracking ammonites here today, there really is. Just hope the centres are in there, sometimes they're a bit squashed in the shale. I think you saw that one already, that was the one that was underneath. Another one again. And then a final, another ammonite. Beautiful. So just in the last, I don't know, 20 minutes, I've had that. Can't be, can't be too bad, can it? Like I said, the sun's back out. What more can you ask for? I 
So I don't normally collect ammonites, you know what, a bit squashed in the shale. But there's something about that one that I don't mind. There's a little bit of body left to it. I think it's a an Arposaurus. Um, so I'll put that in some bubble wrap because it'll be very fragile. I'm staying well away from the cliffs right now because there was just a, a big fall over there. And as I've been walking, you know, down this way, there's there's quite a few more falls. There's a few people, I don't know if you can see them right up. Top of my finger, that little nib on top of the cliff, that's a few people camping right on the edge of the cliff. So good luck to them. They've gone past a, a sign what says uh, recent landslides. So, do you know, common sense prevails. But yeah good luck <laughs> tempted to take my bloody waterproofs off but it'll rain again won't it i'm gonna it's still not quite low tide yet so i'm gonna try and walk around the headland back to sands end car park i haven't done that before so we'll see how it goes Now there seems to be a bit of a fresh fall here. There's a few broken pieces. There's a few nodules kicking around. Another nodule there. There's a worn ammonite in there. There's one over here. Got a bit of a hot spot going on. That's really worn, so I won't be keeping that. But just to show you, there's a nice one there. Some really chunky ducks about today. Little nodule there. Sometimes you get some nice little ones. Come on, then, focus camera. Some nice little ammonites. There's another one there. Another nodule there. So there's plenty of nodules kicking around here. Well, I don't like recording on my phone. The, the focus isn't the best. Maybe I'll have a little play through my settings, see if I've got some the wrong way around. But just in that short space of time. Another five nodules. I mean, these even these ones are where fitting because you might get one in one side. But I'll give these a knit and I'll get back to you. Nice bit of wood there. I think there's a few crushed ammonites in with it. So I'm just back, back at the stairs now. But I'm not going up that way. I'm going on the headland and there's still another 20 minutes before low tide that's a nice looking nodule i'll be now in it though sod's live i'm recording it Let's see if i can do this it's a bit more now that's an out The world's smallest ammonite. I'm afraid I won't be taking that. Sorry. But yeah, so I've got maybe another 20 30 minutes. I'll just scout around this far shop a bit and see if I can get any goodies. I mean, this location is probably one of the, the nicest locations you can come to on its day. It's absolutely glorious. Like today. So I've just found this nodule and it's absolutely rammed full by the looks of it of tiny little ammonites. Now it has got some veins running through it so I don't think it'll split nicely, but I'll 
I'll give it a minute, see what we can reveal. They're a bit squashed, just as I predicted. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, it looks like there's loads in there, but there actually ain't that many. Lucky if I get a few nice pieces out of it. And that's what it's going to be, is just a couple of couple of show pieces. Ugh. Yeah, that's not so bad. That's better. That's lovely. <sighs> so I mean if I really wanted to I could stick that back together and prep it but It'd be an absolute pig to prep, so I'll probably just leave them on the shelf like that until I get round to it. Come on, zoom. Not bad at all. I hope you can see me over there. I'll just give a few of these and it, see if there's out in them. It was so hard to hit them on, but. These are just in the shells, alright. We've got a, we've got another DAC in there. This one's a bit, seen better days. This nodule. Oh, but yeah, tell you what, it's a really nice one inside that. That's already showing one. We'll give this one a minute. Another one in there. And nothing in that one. And then this one will probably just split. So I'll show you I don't actually go that far when I'm splitting them. If they split in a one that's always good. But if you split them and they just reveal a part of the ammonite, that's probably as far as you need to go. Like that one. That's going to be an absolute cracker. There's another one next to it as well. But I won't do any more on that now. That was a nice split. <sighs> Again, this one has just shown a little bit at the top. So I'll just leave that like that. 
and I think this one again is just showing a bit more at the top so I mean if I wanted to go further I could split them but I'll get the chisels out at home and do them you know in a bit more of a controlled environment well plenty of fans for you today happy days